Hey everyone, and thanks for tune, tuning in to a pretty little podcast. I'm Allie Violet Vixen Commissaro, and next to me is Jesse, my super cool co host. Tonight's guest is awesome. I believe this is their podcast per- debut. Yo. Yeah, it is. Yep. So, the Grim Jacks. Hey guys. Hi. How you doing? What's up? What's Hello. up? Love so it. you got do you want to take a second and introduce yes what who you are and at least say like the main things that you do since you guys basically can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Um you think we go first? Yeah. So uh my dad we'll start with no, let's start let's we'll start with that history introduce yourself oh yeah i'm ethan <laughs> i play guitar and i play bass but let's start with the let's start with the first let's, let's idea of the grim jacks let's start with the first idea of the grim jacks uh, i love it i love where it's going amazing right. so with the grim jacks we are it was collectively an idea with my dad and his friend and they wrote a lot of the tunes and um it just it was a fever dream that couldn't get locked in with the current lineup mm-hmm. and you know the tapes and the music was still kept alive through my dad and he passed it down to us and we were tristan and i were willing to sh- share this idea with the world um because tristan and i also grew up in the music industry well, who's, who's tristan? this is tristan my, yeah, my dad. I'm tristan <laughs> me and him we both switch off bass and guitar and this is uh, uh my name is jordan and i we play actually drums met him, met him I my name is Jordan, it. and I play drums and I sing. Noise. Okay, so let's go back real quick, Ethan. Yes. What? What do? What's your involvement in the band? Like, what do you play? What do you do? Okay. Um. I I sing. I also play bass and I play guitar. I kind of hop fifty fifty with Tristan. Um, nice. All, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything that you want to add to that, Tristan? Um, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, uh, Jordan. Yep, what I just you? play drums and I sing too. Yeah. I don't okay. switch anything. Now I definitely got the pleasure of meeting you guys and seeing you guys perform, and it was awesome. Thank now, you. thank you. Was that your first couple shows or? Um, where did I catch you on your journey? Uh, you, I mean, you kind of caught us, I guess, in the beginning. I mean, we did do, we did do a couple like, uh, shows before then. And I mean, we really started like playing shows back in, I want to say like November. We can even start as early as when, uh, when we first actually tried, tried out drummers for the band that weren't Jordan, you know, our keystone, so to say. Um, he, uh, we tried, like, we tried a, a drummer, um, could, didn't work out, but we, uh, always had the idea of playing out Tristan and I, and we just found, we were blessed, um, with Jordan. I mean, there's, there's no other way to put it. I mean, yeah. we literally were, oh, the plan almost died out and then he just came out of the, the woodwork and was like, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So since you guys didn't get a chance to meet Jesse, hmm. Jesse Hi. is my super cool co-host. What's up? What's up? How you doing? So yeah. I got the chance to see them at Dobbs. All right. Stealth. It was actually after the punk rock flea market. And I was like, yes. You're like, you're the guys. Yes. So, so we can all kind of interact. Mm -hmm. I have some questions that I'm going to kind of ask everybody. So you can kind of go through and everybody can kind of give an answer. Okay. So if you got, if you could pick a theme song to play every time you walked in a room, what song and why? Can it be be individual or it can be as a band? Okay. Can it be like a song? Like that's not from us, or does it have to be from There's us? There's no limits. There's no limits. It can be whatever your little heart desires. I would be right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the limit. Um, 
Uh, who wants, who wants, what do you guys think? I don't know. Dude, I, I can do it individual, but uh, definitely if What's we had a, a song to back the band, it's prom right now. Yeah, prom is our like our hit, and we want that to be like as a theme song for the whole entire band. That's got to be it. That's your guys' vibe. Like yeah. that's yeah. the sound you're trying to put out. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. We try to, we try yeah, to, you know. to love them. Oh, oh, you got to come out to the next show. Yeah, dude. Do I'm around. They do an in sync head banging move where they like twirl mm -hmm. and they're literally going at the same time. Like their hair is literally in sync with each other. <laughs> Sometimes it's not even planned. We just kind of do it. <laughs> That's definitely a move. Do you guys like ever practice that? Like getting it in sync? No. 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 <laughs> you just let the wow. energy take you. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I feel like the best way to do it is to have it natural. I mean, yeah, you can't force any true feeling. I mean, I feel like someone's gonna point that out. Yeah, I'm trying to be real as possible. <laughs> uh, for like theme songs, like on our individual, I got one song that I'm thinking of right now. Mm -hmm. Freak from Alice in Chains. It's my favorite. Okay. Nice. Yeah. How about you, Jordan? I don't know. Wood by Alice in Chains, maybe. It's a pretty good song. <laughs> it is. Um, um, dude, oh, I got a lot of songs I could choose from. Choose from. Oh, <laughs> He's running through the Spotify in his brain right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, I know. Uh, I'm trying to think what I would even pick, too. So, just that you such a wide at the same time. Like, um, it better be something from Alice in Chains. I don't want it to be. I want to be. Keep peer pressure. Be, be Peer no, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, I don't know. I'd have to go with a White Cross tune, uh, mm. like uh, that song that we, you and I sang. Um, asking you today, uh, I love that song. It's so song. comforting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we we got our songs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, what would you pick? Oh, baby. Um, right off the bat, I was like Santana, Black Magic Woman. Like, I was like, that would be it. That's a good one. I know, right? Like, that one's a vibe. It's like sexy, you know? Yeah. Um, maybe something, I don't know, right now, um, maybe something by Bathory, but because of just because I'm on a, a little kick. Um, or something by, I'm on like a, a pentagram kick. Also, so maybe something by Pentagon. I know. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I definitely thought. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. At the same time, I'm like, maybe something off a hacked up for barbecue because I'm, I'm just like looking at myself in the mortician shirt. So there's a little, ooh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hmm, 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 hmm. But probably Santana, Black Magic Woman because it, it, it is smooth. Yeah. It's a vibe. Uh, How you about you? I feel like... <laughs> Since it's like a theme song, so I want everybody to get hype when I walk in the room. Yeah. I'm feeling like I'm going to go with Sick Like Me from In This Moment. Okay. I feel like it's a very powerful, like, kind of all over the place song, which that's kind of like me. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, I, I hear that. Heard. Heard. Okay. The next one. What two non-essential items would you want if you were shipwreck, uh, shipwrecked on a deserted island? Not items used for survival, like extras. Uh, Drum set. Guitar. <laughs> Guitar. Wait, no bass, so we can switch. <laughs> no, we got to choose another one, too. Oh, yeah, true. Um, a pencil. Dude, that would be dope. <laughs> yeah, Phone, maybe. I want an unlimited amount of paper. <laughs> <laughs> we could write so many songs. <laughs> Not if you don't have a guitar. No, we, we, we have two items. I chose a bass and a pencil. He chose a guitar and an unlimited stack of paper. And he chose drums and phone. Okay. So we, we got, we already chose it. We got it worked out. <laughs> they already know. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've never They're really thought out on this, but you know. I guess it really depends if you get reception. Yeah. Because you're like, I want to bring my cell phone. I'll learn how to do electricity. Yeah, like I definitely would throw a cell phone <laughs> in the mix. I 
Legrang, a cigarette pack of American Spirit Blacks and a lighter so I can have one day of peace before I lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just one day of serenity. <laughs> and then, because you know it's going to go bad at any point, like no matter what you bring. So I want my one day. I would, I would need something for like music of some yeah. sort. Like, I don't even know what you would use like to take to a death, like other than your phone or I guess like, you gotta get one I mean, I do, I'm sure yeah. I have like a nano somewhere yeah. that like, I could like take it old school and take, take it old school. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like if you were a shipwrecked, you wouldn't like be waiting for it. Like, yeah, but I definitely would say cell phone sunglasses 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 yeah that's They're definitely in the mix <laughs> that's definitely I, with it. I would have to probably bring a hat i like my hats <laughs> i feel like the smart answer would be like a lighter and like or and a pot so but, i could like you go know, hunting you, yeah 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 you could like drink it you know boil i guess that could be i guess some food. of that could be used as survival i mean you could yeah. kind of like mix it in with survival things that you might need <laughs> yeah so tell me you are from pennsylvania without yep. telling me you're from pennsylvania dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude oh that's such a good one um people don't know me and unless they actually know me like they they see the idea of me and then they're like yeah, but then they're like, "Oh, he's yeah. actually really cool." Yeah, there's a lot of cheesesteak here too. <laughs> cheesesteak. Right. I can tell you how people know I'm from Pennsylvania or from at least from Delco. It's Yogi's. <laughs> Yo. dude, who says that? Yogi's. Can I get that, John? Yeah, uh, people are like, "You want to go down to Wawa and get some Yogi's?" <laughs> I say hope like, oh good. no, I know where you're from. <laughs> okay, this one's for the band. Mm. Who would get out of an escape room first? Dude. <laughs> Not you guys. Wow. Wow. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, like I, <laughs> I definitely would get out shortly after you, but I, I, yeah, you probably. Yeah, Tristan first. probably last. Yeah. I would be uh, distracted by something in the room. He'd he see something pretty and go, oh, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who plays the most like puzzles and like does the most puzzle? Like, I, I know I play like certain puzzles online. You? Yes, 100%. I don't really play puzzles. Bro, I'm so good at puzzles. I, I would totally own you in puzzles, dude. You might you right. might get out of the escape room first. We Maybe. might have to put this to the test and we see. Should. Dude, I would we so should. Yeah. Well, when we go to Virginia, don't they have escape rooms here? Yeah, they, they have, definitely we're do. We're going over to Virginia, and we're going to, like, as a, like a... Try and busk. Busk, yeah. That. We're going to busk it on Virginia Beach, and then there's, like, escape rooms, and we're going to do that. Dude, I'm going to put you to the test. You're going to be like, oh, my gosh. I'm going to be like, you yeah. Guys have good. Good. <laughs> under pressure. Huh? huh? So do you guys like play jokes on each other and prank and like uh Tristan and I are big pranksters, sometimes a little bit too much, as you know. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> but we love them. <laughs> I say all the time I love impractical jokers. So like what's the best prank that you guys have kind of like pulled on each other? Uh dude, I, I once pulled a prank on my teacher um with We're Tristan. On each other, though. No, but it was on it. No, because you pulled the prank on me. It's cool. You, like, he can he can tell about his prank. We, yeah. we can step out of the box. You can tell us about your best prank and then your best prank on Tristan. Okay, so my best prank, um, dude, I, I kid you not. Tristan and I, we like, we get told we look alike all the time. I mean, obviously we're identical. I know. <laughs> um, and with that being said, you know, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put my teacher to the test if she knows me. And she didn't know me that well, and I was like, I had like the like this little identity crisis, and it was definitely like the best prank, the best prank I uh, pulled of tri uh, pulled on Tristan. Yeah, like, <laughs> don't know. I, I will. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know what the best prank is because like, I mean, we prank each other, but I don't know if any of them are actually good. <laughs> like, <laughs> you but, guys, uh, like he said that you he pretended to be you in class. Do you do you have oh. you guys done that any other time? Like, I've tried. I ah yes, yes yes maybe. Um, 
we were I had I I take piano class in my school and I used to sit with this like these two people and they didn't they didn't really pay mind to me. Mm-hmm. But I was like kind of chill with them at that time. But like I I stepped out to use the bathroom. I see him and he's like, dude, I gotta go in there and we gotta like drink, change outfits. I'm like, come on, dude. I don't really want to do that. And he's like, dude, we got to do it. So then we did it. And he, he has my hoodie on. He has my hat on. Do he I comes who? in, sits down. And oh, <laughs> he comes in and sits down. And he's like, he. you could tell it wasn't me. Because, yeah. Like, I usually mind my own business. He's looking everywhere. He's going like, like, he's looking at people like he's got a problem with them. And, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I come I in. I feel like from, a total jerk. I, I came in from behind because there's like how it's set up. It's like here's the piano room, and then there's a storage room, like right there, and the chorus room. I came in from the chorus room. I went into the storage room. I went into the piano room, and they looked behind me. They, they looked behind each other, and I was like, like "What?" <laughs> I used to before I joined the band. I used to see them. Um, like in the hallways and I had first period with Tristan. Yeah. So I, I used to walk to my um, second period class and I used to see Ethan. Uh, and I was like, cause Tristan wears a, a brown leather jacket and he was a, a black leather jacket. <laughs> used to, but I used, I used to think like, how did he switch like leather jackets, you know, so fast, you know, it was like really weird. Cause we're that cool. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> just that Speaking of which, since you're still in school, hmm? can you give me five, Un like useful ways to use a textbook other than for school. Uh, writing lyrics. Writing lyrics. I've definitely done that. Drawing. Drawing. Yeah. Um. You Fires. Could... Paper airplanes. <laughs> yeah. We got four. We got four. I'll sing them. But um, you could use it to make a song other than writing lyrics. Like use the the book as a beat. Like. Like, it, like drums, like drums. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't do that. I I don't think any of us do that. None of us do it, but you know, it was <laughs> a good idea. really quick with those answers. It like took like I was like thinking about it for a minute. Jesse, what would you say? Um. So when I got out of like high school, we took all of our textbooks and we had a big uh, bonfire, and it was it was a complete fire hazard. Everything was it was colorful, smoking like a cauldron, like pay math pages just flowing in the wind. It was sick, That's horrible cool. idea. That would have been an amazing oh, no. TikTok uh, now. Well, like, that would have gone viral. That was a <laughs> yeah. That was a long time ago though. But it was what time? Uh, it was like. Right after one of our kind of like breakout shows, it was like a private event. Mm -hmm. The next day, we have a bunch of wood and stuff. I remember this. And uh, <laughs> we had a fire, and my stepbrother he throws a ball, and it's like plastic or rubber. Oh and there's no! Black, there's black smoke coming out of it. My Dude. step, and this is like blazing fire. Like yeah. whoo, flames are going crazy, and like. My stepmom oh, comes out yeah, and she loses her marbles. Like <laughs> she's like, "What the heck are you doing?" <laughs> she was so mad. It was I felt bad. <laughs> but one thing you put a piece of box in that uh, piece of box in the fire. Like if you have like piece in a bonfire, you throw that sucker in. That thing I've seen it go airborne in the flame. <laughs> yeah, the piece of box. I was thinking more like as a shelf or as like an ipad like stand you guys like really got creative with it <laughs> <laughs> so this is as the band how many devices do you all own collectively uh well let's think about this seriously um that i own i only know like truly own i only like own my phone um, but you and I share that TV and the Xbox. Yeah. And then that TV in our room. Jordan, you got that TV in your room. Plus yeah, I got a I got a TV in my room. I got a PC. Um, I got a yeah, phone. PCs. I got an Xbox. We gamers up in here. Oh yeah, yeah. We we uh we game. <laughs> I'm also weird. I listen to music on an MP3 player and I record stuff on cassette sometimes because I'm oh, weird. That's not, that's, not, that's not weird. That's cool. That's cool. Well, yeah. What's your favorite game right now? Uh. I've been kind of not playing games, listening to music a lot. So, I don't know. I don't really have one. Yeah. Kristen? Um, 
what I used to play was probably like Forza Horizon Five because I like cars. I love cars. It's one of the, literally, that's what got me into cars, and I've always like really <laughs> kind of invested myself in cars like that. I'd yeah. say mine have to be like. Uh, you ever play like Mortal Kombat? Uh, yes. Molina, main Molina, Katana. You know, dude. My my main was Goro. And I was okay. so good with them. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, so I also was a bit of a comic nerd and I love Batman. So there's okay. this game called Injustice, and it's like yep. DC characters. Yeah, I played with I played that game. I messed with it. Aquaman was OP when that I, game came out. Nah, he was not OP. I thought of he was a dork. Bad no, when they first dude. came out. Come when on. They first came out. Well, I yeah, was, because... I was ripping with Aquaman. Yeah, yeah we all do. It. Jesse and I do cosplay, like, That's pretty you know cool, all the characters. <laughs> the thing is, was like, dude, people keep on asking me, like, if you're Batman, then who am I? And I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the whole thing. Well, it depends if you like them or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah, like, like, like my dude, you're Robin, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Am I your Robin? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, uh, how many would you say you have? Oh, of what? Of devices. Oh, devices? I was going to be like, oh, ooh, ooh. So I would say I used to have a house full. I'm kind of like, I'm between. So I got, I got the MacBook, I got the iPhone, and I, it's, ooh. I got this Nintendo Switch still, <laughs> so we're I'm good. I got all all the all the goodies. I would say three. I at least have ten. Yeah, yeah, I do have a lot of like time. I don't know how to work them all. Like yeah. my son knows how to work them all, yeah. but I do have a lot. <laughs> so if you and I'll ask this individually, mm-hmm. if you guys were to win the lottery. What's the first thing you'd buy? Uh, think about this. New drum set. I could be I could be really stupid with my answer, but I want to be intelligent. Well, well, if it's a, like, how much are we talking? Like, if we win, because that let's depends. Let's put it out. Let's like be realistic. A million dollars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna so buy, I'm gonna buy a car, uh, my dream car, which is like a right now probably like a Pontiac. Bonneville mm-hmm. and uh damn like, Pontiac yeah, yeah. nice uh, and then uh I want to put like a LS in it and make it go fast and then uh then I'll buy a a tiny little S10 from like 03 and I'll just keep that and I'll get uh, a Tone Master fed from Fender and then a Fender Stratocaster or something and then a house <laughs> so I'd first I I'd, I I want to I want to put be the good son. Be like, I'd buy my parents a house. <laughs> I want to. Well, yeah, no, I want to. I want to put half of it, and um, I want to put half of it in like a savings account because. Wow. I, I, I definitely want to like have some money. That okay, you happens. adulting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Then I then I I mean I made a promise with my mom when I was young. Uh, call me a mama's boy if you want, but I I want to. I, don't know, I want to treat her in some way. Like I, I told her I'd get her a house, but um, she's really liking her house that she lives at now, which is fine. But I want to get her something that's good, you know. Um, and then I'd probably get a nice, a nice uh Marshall, uh, one my dad has, and he allows us to use sometimes. It's such a cool amp. It's great. It's um, so I'd probably get a few guitars. Let's be honest. Uh, let's um. I'd probably get a Dodge Charger 70s though, like the good ones. Yeah. yeah. Could you get a car too? Probably. Yeah. Um, I, don't know. I feel like you guys have thought about this. Like well, I'd, Jordan's I'd, like, I'd get a drum set. You guys are like, <laughs> oh, I would get blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I, I definitely want to invest it into like future business plans though. Because um, I, do, I, do I did take a keen eye on uh, woodworking and building okay. my own guitars. So, yeah. Jordan, did you think of anything else to add to your list? Um, I don't know. I'd probably just support my dad and my aunt because they, they support me a lot. 
and like my musical equipment and stuff. Allie, what's yours? I need to know. I would definitely make sure that my parents are taken care of and like any of my friends that are having issues, but I definitely feel like I would put some of it away. And I think I would look into cloning six, my dog. Because I immediately like dogs. Yeah, because like, like I don't know. She yeah. it, it would be awesome to have two of her. Dogs are awesome. So I might look into cloning. I think it's like you might 10 them. grand to even yeah. have them consider you, but and I might come back with like some weird thing. Like <laughs> for my thing. birthday, my friend got me like all these things that I wanted that were like random weird things. And one of them was a jackrabbit, like the jackrabbit yeah. head. This thing came, it looked like one of those memes making fun of wish. Yeah. It didn't have antlers. First of all, no antlers. Just a hole. And like, was it, it a dog? Is no, so no. weird looking. Like no. it doesn't quite look right. Pay attention. <laughs> But I think that, yeah, I would definitely just basically make sure the people around me are okay. And I'd probably spend a few, like, things on, like, going to, like, Disney World or something. Yeah, mm. that's always good. Now, um, uh, I don't mean to change topics. Do you have any more questions, though? I just want to make sure. So, Oh, yeah. Okay. Cause I, yeah, I've got some more, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna talk about your upcoming events. Cause you got a nice yes. list. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Can I have you guys for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. okay. Uh, we already did the textbooks. Um, if you could perform with any musician, who would you pick, and why? Uh, the Gins from uh, Canada are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're like Nirvana. They're I, okay. I really, but modern Nirvana, it's really cool. It's the only thing is they're they're from Canada, so we can't really do that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now I would totally like to play with Nirvana, but I'm also <laughs> in a really good uh, like Primus kick. Primus is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I really mess with Primus right now. I would like for me. I like I like the Gins. I like Primus. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Well, your answers are kind of wrapping in with the next question on how you would use a time machine. Would you use it to go back and play with Nirvana? Yes, yes for sure. <laughs> what, dude? If, if I played with like, I feel Nirvana, like be best like, friends with Dave Grohl. We would be, <laughs> we would be probably like pretty much best friends with the whole band, like knowing us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um. For me, it would probably have to be like Alice and Chains. I would love to play with them because, like, oh, yes. Jerry Cantrell, he's one of my, like, right now, I love his guitar work. I've tried learning almost most of the solos that I, I'd like to learn, and it's really awesome. I love, I love Jerry Cantrell. He's, like, one of my favorites. That's awesome. Jesse, well, how would you use a time machine? If I had to go back and see an artist, no, uh, I'd probably see Death, or I'd see, uh, I never got to see Type of Negative. Like, uh, that would have been a great one. Actually, we did a cover of a Type of Negative song. I Don't Want to Be Me. A while ago. It was I Don't Want to Be Me. Yeah. And I think we should bring it back. Oh, we totally should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely should. Yeah, it's one, it's one of my favorite songs from them. I would rip on that song. <laughs> rip on it hell yeah i just like you know i got i got a bunch of peter steel stuff i got the sign pick and stuff like that and it would have been a lot more special if i actually got to see typo so so can you guys tell me what's your most unusual talent if you have one <laughs> i have or a lot party trick, like something that you can do that Kind of can grab people's attention. <laughs> oh, you can do that. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a skill to have. I mean, uh, shoot, man. I don't know. <laughs> like, you hit me with a stump right there. <laughs> How about you, Jordan? I don't, I don't have any. I don't know. I mean, I 
I don't know if I could do this now. I used to be pretty flexible, so I could like put my I leg up behind my head. I feel but, like that's a TikTok <laughs> in the making. I was so I was so like I was a lot more skinnier back then, so like I was able to be like super flexible. I'm still like pretty flexible for mm-hmm. my size, but like the mass is not allowing that to happen. It's big <laughs> boys, big beefy boys, <laughs> boys, dude. Oh my gosh, I just thought of another one. Um, Tristan and I we learned this from our dad. Uh, what were you? Uh, <laughs> so remember yesterday we went to that store and the dog came speaking in Taiwanese and we just didn't understand it, but we understood his body language. Oh yeah, it was just kind of like how the cat from the couple blocks down um, on Yerkes. It was just like, "Hey, what's up?" And we we're like, "What are you guys up? talking about?" Exactly. exactly. I have the best, <laughs> okay. I have the perfect follow up question to that. Describe your most bizarre life experience thus far. Oh, um, because whatever you were just talking about, that sounded really yeah. bizarre. Oh, yeah, it was. It was, it was very it was scripted, to too. It, no, it wasn't. That was for awesome. me. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of just ran it off our head. That never actually happened. Sorry, guys. No, that's awesome. <laughs> um, most like crazy thing that happened in my life that I can't really believe. Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask Jordan real quick. <laughs> what, Jordan? What's your What's the most unbelievable thing that ever happened to you? I don't know. Crap. <laughs> Everything's pretty believable. <laughs> well, um, I guess I got one. It's kind of a. I want to say this is a blessing from like God because this is the only way I can describe it. When I was like four or in fourth grade, right, four days after my birthday, I was hit by a car going like 35 miles an hour, and I was like six. Yeah. And I was short. I was knocked out for like 30 minutes. I woke up fine. No broken bones, no internal bleeding. I was like fine. I just, it didn't really affect me. And I, I, I got to give like props to God for that because like that, it's crazy to me. Oh, I, I could, after that happened, do you remember it happening or? Um, or- it all kind of was a blur. Like, yeah. I was one point I was running across the street because I was scared trying to get home. And then all of a sudden this car just fucking you're like freaking like bam. Like it was crazy. Yeah. I, I remember that. And I woke up and I was like, this has gotta be a prank. <laughs> like like it was like I was like, there's no way this just happened. And it happened. And I was fine, thank God. But like, nah, I mean, I can remember pretty much what it happened but not like what car it was and all i know is from the police report a report it was like a ford explorer like gray or something i don't know what year though that but. that's a crazy story to tell though yeah so if you guys could have a superpower what would your superpower be shape shifting i thought long and hard about this dude oh my gosh shape shifting because if you shape shift you can have the same powers as the person you're shape shifting nah person. but listen listen i would ask for super strength you know why because with super strength it's like dude yeah i i, I mean yeah i'd be able to like pick up rocks and stuff but like imagine the jumps i could get and then like imagine how much i can endure like holy crap how about you I, I love the passion behind that. Like he's really thought about it. <laughs> what? Well, uh, I think Jordan would say shape shifting too, because shape shifting is the right answer. <laughs> yeah, I could shape shift into Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> he get into every show. <laughs> yeah, I can shape. I would rate. Uh, if I could shape shift, I would shape shift into like, I don't know, um, a better version of you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would shape shift into. <laughs> I would shape shift into like <laughs> someone famous, I guess, so I can have money. <laughs> dude, I would. You know what? I, I would just probably Bruce if Wayne. I were to shape shift. Dude, Bruce Wayne. yes. Oh my gosh! Don't even get me started. I'm Batman, dude. <laughs> so Jesse, what would your superpower uh, be? I'm gonna go with vampirism. Okay. Like, that's what I want. That's what I want. You know, I'll take the I'll take the the losses. I'll take the sunlight. I'll take the like, you know, no more Mexican nights. 
Damn. You know, no more pizza. I just want the I want the perks. You Damn. know, you get you get a whole list. You get you get stronger. You, you get, get cool hotter. Food. You know, you get the street cred. The van. You know, you get the fangs. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Bro, she could shave shit. I she like the shave, teeth. She would thing. shave shit. I want the teeth. I want to. I want to be able to like. Oh, That's true. If you were a shapeshifter, you could. Yeah. Dude, if I were to, if I were to shapeshift, I'd probably yeah, I'd probably shape it in the Batman, or I'd shape it shape shift into me because I kind of like me. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's good to like you. I feel like if I were gonna go, I go vampire or werewolf. But- Definitely, probably vampire because like werewolf, werewolf so, all the way. So what are you talking cool. about? Because oh, I, no, everybody just kind of sold me on the shape shifting. I think I yeah. look kind of. Dude, I can shape shift in the Hulk. Wait, does the shape shifting include all the powers? Yes. Yes. Okay, then I'm shape shifting into the Hulk. He was my favorite Marvel character. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Who um, would you shape shift into, Tristan? If you could shape shift into someone. I'm gonna be honest, Wolverine. I don't care how short he is in the comics. He's cool. <laughs> he wants to be a midget. <laughs> like he, he, he's like, he's got the claws. He's like super ripped and all that, and that's cool. But like, he's also like, I don't know. He's just like this lone wolf type of dinner. I've always kind of liked that like backstory, I guess. Nice. I'm sorry, it just reminds me of Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the leader of the pack, and you guys can like. Be my friends, or what? you're like a part of the pack, but I'm still the lone wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got done watching Hangover. <laughs> I love that movie. I-, I love all three of them. Yeah, they're all, they're all pretty so good. Funny. Uh, so, as far as vacation plans, do you have guys have any like cool vacation plans other than music? Yes, uh, yes. So, um. We we were as we said we were going to Virginia Beach at, all together as a group. We're just gonna have mm-hmm. a fun time, dude. Yeah, we're gonna um, like, we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go go karts. Probably skateboarding. Walk the the board deck. Go on the that. beach. Go yeah, the go beach. to the beach. So are you guys amusement park? Yes. Yes. Real seeking. I oh, love it. Oh yeah. Jordan, Jordan is. Probably the most thrill seeking person I know. No, yes. I don't like roller coasters, dude. You don't like don't roller like... coasters, but you no. like freaking dirt bikes and all that. Dirt bikes are cool. Exactly. Are cool. You're, you're a thrill seeker, man. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Well, let's get into some of your upcoming things going on. So, you've been working on a music video. Yes. yes, actually, we uh, we were talking about that on our way. Uh, kind of a little bit. Uh, we were so the music video we're gonna be p- putting out. I don't know when we're putting out because we want we want to refine it a bit. Um, definitely like uh, get some. We we're gonna take a deeper look into it, yeah. so to say. And uh, but we will be releasing a track that we will have on the music video. Probably as a singular or something because I don't know. It sounds pretty cool. <laughs> now, is this different than like what you previously did? Yes, somewhat. Like you you yeah. released a demo, correct? Yes. So uh, we, we're gonna release the prom the song prom as a, a single, um, because like we said, that's the song we're trying to push because that's that's us, mm-hmm. um, and uh. That's that's kind of what we're trying to t- together as a band. That's uh, make our name, you know. Make and everybody name. can find you on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Reverb Nation, YouTube. What's your primary social media platform? Probably Instagram. Yeah. I want to I want to start moving towards TikTok because I know TikTok's algorithm is like crazy, like good because like, it's really blowing up a lot of people very yeah quickly. because i've seen like small bands mm-hmm. pop up on my feed and then next week they're like forty thousand followers forty thousand likes it's crazy yeah it's it's wild <clears throat> it's fun though it's fun to check your like yeah check your account and 
something that you like didn't even think was like anything gets all these likes <laughs> all yeah. these follows like yeah jesse's quite the tiktoker i it was dude i need to get better at tiktoks <laughs> yeah we, yeah we need we need we need some advice on that because uh, yeah um, we're, not, we're not the great with tiktok <laughs> not very tech savvy people i think that it's about making the videos that you'd want to see like if you ever have an idea and you're like damn that would be hilarious if somebody made that that's when you've got to make it hilarious that's... all right all right thank you <laughs> that's, that's my advice make the content that you want to see yeah uh, and definitely to everybody out there that's tuning in go on go on their sites like them leave your comments overwatch their tiktoks that's what it's all about seriously go and if you are i mean you can go on their instagram like they said that's their primary but you can also check them out at www.thegrimjacks.com thanks for the shout out yeah. and we also would like to talk about some of your upcoming shows that you have coming up Dude, so uh, you're playing the south philly fest yeah yes. may 6th may 6th that's gonna be now what time does that start and what time do you got do you guys know when you're going on not exactly we, I, I mean we just uh we just approved it uh so it's i mean we don't even know what we're gonna play i'm, I'm kind of yeah. just hoping that we'll figure it out on the way you know because we i mean we can definitely play for hours non-stop yeah um we we got that pretty i'm pretty confident in our abilities with that um i i have a connection with jordan and tristan that i, I haven't had with anyone before so this, it's a really cool experience and it's a very definitely a learning experience for us that's great and uh and then after that literally the day after that we got a show at, at sweeney's, sweeney's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, now <laughs> is that is that a future star show yeah it's yes. a future star show we uh Honestly, I love Elena and yeah. And shout out to Elena Brokiss Productions. She's she's, yes. she's awesome. The fact that she's able to give give us these gigs, I love the fact that she's giving us a chance. Like especially local bands, yeah. like yeah. That, because I, I'm taking business classes and she's doing something that needs to be done more often. And I highly appreciate you allowing us on this podcast. I mean, it's, oh, it's definitely it's, we love having musicians on. I mean, some are you know, international rock stars and some are just stepping on the scene, but yeah. they're both important. A hundred percent. I mean, it's, 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 it's a way that everyone can express how they feel without, you know, it's like, it's really just like how comfortable are you with just saying it, you know? And I say it through guitar. I say it through bass. I, mm -hmm. And I say, definitely say it through vocals. And I know Jordan definitely says it through drums. Cause man, we connect. <laughs> Um, yeah, but no, it's you uh, also you have uh, coming up, you have the gem, yes, and that's in Spring City, and that's on June 9th, yes, yes. Yeah. I believe so. Yes. yes, now is this your first time playing at the gem? Actually, no. our first like actual um, show with Elena, with, it was at the gem, and we kind of packed the house, I think. I mean, we. We, we made a lot of money that night. We that we, we brought cool. like twenty people. Only needed to bring like seven, ten. Mm -hmm. We brought like twice the amount that we needed, just so we can get that. You know, like we we needed, we wanted it. We How wanted. How was that feeling? It was pretty awesome. It was, it was really scary, but it was pretty cool. It was intoxicating. It was the best <laughs> way to put it. I was on my own little world, and I know these guys were too. Do you guys get nervous before performing? Sometimes, yes, dude. I got super nervous before Dobbs. I try. I just try to stay confident. You know, if you're like confident before a gig that you're not really gonna mess up. You know, it's not really. Yeah. You don't really gotta worry about it. You know, I I try to you know, because I know I can't do everything on my own. I, I have to give it to God, all the time, you know, because He is good. So, you know, I I'm just really confident that He He knows what's best. So. Right. And since uh, we are getting close to the time. I am going to let you guys go in a second, but I did notice that your pictures were by Kimberly Pace Photography. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Shout out to Kimberly. Yeah, yeah, shout she, out to Kim. She, she's uh, awesome. She's a 
I, from what I know, she's uh, known my dad like back in high school, and what I find pre- that's I find that pretty cool because she was able to help us out. And I honestly, she's got a real keen eye for, for photography, and I really got to thank her for that. Yeah, yeah, no, she she awesome. hooked us up, dude, um, really well. Yeah, the pictures that will be with all the band stuff on the social media pages. Like, I will definitely give her the shout outs underneath. I wrote your dad. I was like, are those Kimberly Pace? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's really cool that you were able to pick that out. I'm still getting new into the like, photographer world, so I'm trying to understand um, mm-hmm. how to defend, dif- differentiate. But like, she, she got a good eye. Yeah. yeah, some of my favorites, I just know their signature. Man, when they come up online, I just know. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, well, is there anything else that you would like to say to everybody? Um, Well, I mean, check us out on Spotify and all that. Yeah, we just released uh, our, our kind of ballad. Um, yes, it's a ballad. Called The, the Long Run. In the Long Run. Nice. In the long run, it's 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 titled the long run on on Spotify, um, and for some reason we it, it comes up on a different artist, but it's the Grim Jacks just with a lowercase g. So okay. it, it is we're it's still the same band, but like <laughs> we we gotta create account for Spotify and all that. But yeah, check us out on Spotify, like you name it. And check just it. throw the name out there one more time. The Go on Spotify. Jacks. What's the name? The Grim Jacks. The Grim no, Jacks. no, the name of the song. Oh, the name of the song <laughs> oh I, was, I, was, I was about to say. I was like, <laughs> I thought we already knew the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're the we're, uh, the song's called "In the Long Run." In the long run. Well, Everybody, make sure that you go like, listen, share, check it out. Definitely. Thanks so much, guys, for coming on. Thank it was you. such Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you. No, no, and hopefully I'll fun. see you at one of the future shows because I definitely yeah, frequent I at Sweeney's and Dobbs and all those different places. It was such uh, a pleasure spending some time with you guys. Also, yeah, I really mess with the shirt because yeah. if you want one at our shows, it's $15. We can also get them on our website with a free sticker. Um, I think yeah. for 20 bucks. I'm not sure. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Well, we're going to be restocking soon. And we got we got them in black as well. So nice. Yeah. It's gonna be really <laughs> yeah, cool. I got my little. Remember Jess, did you see this? Cat? Got their signatures. Yeah. On it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Bye, you. guys. Have Bye. a great night. Bye. You too. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> cool. They were so cute. They're super cute. They're super. They cute. are so good. You would love them. Yeah. They definitely like give you those feels. It they sounds like they're dominated at Dobbs. That throwback vibe. Well, I'm telling you, Dobbs was yeah. mobbed through their whole. I mean. The, yeah. I'm talking a whole mosh pit was started sure. in the front when they came on. And I mean, it was like a younger crowd and an yeah. older crowd. Like there were grown men moshing right in front of me. I'm like, yeah, this is what needs to happen. Happen. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. So I will let you go since we did run a little bit over time. Okay. But. Tune in next week, and thanks, everybody, for watching A Pretty Little Podcast. Like, share, tell your friends, overwatch us. Make sure you subscribe. Bye, everyone.